Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the San Francisco 49ers. With that, let's get you out to Silicon Valley, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, as we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Two teams that have combined to win 11 Super Bowl titles. The Steelers and the Niners are underway. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're back up to one of the all-time great players, if you don't spend time picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big time back in in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, those guys are hard to find. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second down, it's Coleman. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. There's so many times during camp and practice that you get bored as a player doing regular drills. But how about that shed and skate drill right there by the linebacker? You do it each and every day, get the blocker away, and get into the backfield and make a big-time tackle. That's what we just saw. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. It's caught by Coleman. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. 
Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes that's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Here we go. Kill, kill, kill. They'll run on first down. It's Coleman. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Here we go, here we go. From the 24, Garoppolo. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. And the play of this offensive line is going to tell a big story. And right now, if you're a fan of this team, you're loving the story that they are telling. They've already created some holes in the running game on this opening drive, and they're going to need to keep it up for these guys to have a big chance at victory. Here we go, here Eighth we go, play go. of this opening Wait. drive coming up. This is third down. Hey. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Here we go, here we go. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run with the NC State man. It's Jalen Samuels. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. One-yard gain brings up second and nine at the 26-yard line. The last play okay. got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. San Francisco gets set to go here. here we go. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Push him back. Push him back. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. How about the safety? Minka Fitzpatrick swooping in for the sack. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Here we go, now, here following go. the Black sack, 80. they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and it's third down. And the starting defensive unit here for Pittsburgh. Bud Dupree came out of the University of Kentucky determined to let everyone know that they play football there as well as basketball. A terrific pass rusher off the edge. Here 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Stephon Tuitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Fielded at the 20. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. First carry for James Conner. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Just shy of midfield, Roethlisberger, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's third down and three yards to go. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, it's Vanan. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield... He knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receiver's eyes when he's throwing the ball. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 27. On first and 10 is Connor. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We Let's knew go, that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Ben leaves to counter on the draw. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. On second down, Connor looking for space. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Right there. 
54 miles. And here we go. Watch, watch the pass. Black and third. Third and two, now Roethlisberger. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. This is an easy one, 23 yarder. And Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Go, go. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. Here we go. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, and look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Vince Williams on the tackle. A gain of two on the play brings up third and four. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, that's trash. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Got a man. He finds Sanders. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. Here we go, so here we from go. the 36 hey. now, first and 10. Rat, rat. Rat, rat. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. First down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Give me 
Garoppolo now. First down throw. He hits his target. It's the tight end, Toilolo. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. This is Coleman. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Certainly not what the offense wanted down here, going in the wrong direction. Yeah, well, look who got involved. I mean, when you got a strong safety who can drop into the box, never needs an invitation to be one of those guys in run defense, does he? Wakes up every morning just a little bit ticked off. My, Seventh go, play go. of the drive hey. upcoming here on third and six. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. The Sanders has got it complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. it to the tight end Kittle and he's brought down right at the five yard line give him two on the play he'll get only two there and it's second and goal and the ball smack dab on the five yard line here's second and goal Coleman and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Now Garoppolo to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Goals all we've had so far. 3 3 now as the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. And now out come the Steelers. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. One play like has 20. him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Complete to Washington. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And now it's third down. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Ben to throw again. And he finds McDonald. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 42. These two teams all tied after one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the 39, Roethlisberger, and he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 29-yard line. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 24-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here we go. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. to throw here, Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Boswell's kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. 
So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open go, space, go, maybe go. swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. here we go. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. You, you, you. You, you, you. Coleman now. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but now from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. We often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going. But we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. On second down now. It's Connor, and he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. And it's third down. The Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Now it's Roethlisberger. Able to find Switzer. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. I hope you got your legs because I'm about to take you to school. 
On first down, Connor. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Second down, it's Connor. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Well, when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Roethlisberger to throw. This is Johnson, he's got it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 32-yard line. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. On the counter, it's Connor. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead will increase to six now. It's nine to three. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. 
Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 28-yard line. Here we go. What do you need? What we got? What we got? What we got? On second down now, it's Coleman. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. He was brought down by Bud Dupree. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. Here we go, the here Niners we go. on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But if you catch a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, you'll take him each and every time. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. And that's complete to Sanders. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 35. Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Coleman on the toss. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. One of the toughest things for an offensive lineman to learn is the ability to get in space and hit people who are moving targets. And linebackers are not easy ones to hit because they know how to move, juke, and make you miss. And that's exactly what he did on that play. A nice play for the defense. Here we go. 180! Tackles, tackles. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Steven Nelson on the tackle. It's a gain of two. Third down and 13. Here we go. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Working from the gun, Garoppolo taking a shot for Samuel, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered. He was able to get a hand in and knock it away.
So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. They've got the lead. They haven't really had to utilize him all that much so far, but I guess if you're winning on the scoreboard, not too much to complain about. Not at all, but you know those guys out wide. They want as many catches as they can possibly get. They may need him later on if things get a little tighter. Yeah, so far, two catches. We'll see what happens here as the game progresses. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seventh. On second down, it's Connor. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Here's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. Great coverage there, holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. So they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the 22, Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Mind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. Throwing on second down. 
Garoppolo. And Sanders has got it complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. First down now, but that clock rolling. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. 13 yards there and a Niner first. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First is Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First down pass play, second and three. Garoppolo again. Looking deep downfield. And this is caught inside the five. Holding offense. Here we go, here we go. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position. That's difficult to do. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Cam Hayward, always a force, got back there for the sack. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Devin Bush, the linebacker, was the one there in pass coverage. Well, partner, so much for the mismatch. How about the guy at the second level, that big linebacker, able to run with the receiver and make a play on the football? Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. 14 seconds, all that's left to this first half as they come up on first down. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports halftime report this one's been as good as advertised just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room so to bring you the story of the second half let's get you right back out to brandon god thank you sir a field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. 
The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. You can't block me. You can't block me. Like it's a 56. Like it's a will throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Pittsburgh. Now Roethlisberger on first down. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. On second down, Samuels. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's Roethlisberger. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front, and a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they double their lead, pushing it up now to 12 to 6. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Yeah, for the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This fielded at the two. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. 
Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to it. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They will run again with Coleman. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. On third down, here's Coleman. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. That throw good for four. It's second down. To George Kittle. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 46-yard line. Here we go. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's Coleman on the draw. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Wilson with a first down carry. A gain of three, second down. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. 
Cut! They'll run on first down. Coleman. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is. And what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Play action, Garoppolo. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. Go, so a go. special team's Lady. mistake on the field goal try leads to a new set of downs inside the red zone. Here's Coleman. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five at the Steelers' seven yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. By 20! Let him know, let him know. Now Moster. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. That's a game of four. Brings up third and one. Here we go. Wait, A.B. We're pretty quiet, D. We're pretty quiet. On third down, it's Coleman. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. And partner, in a lot of short yardage situations, you'll see the linebackers step up into the gaps, what we call mugging the line of scrimmage to make sure they take away all spaces, all creases. That one worked really well for them. They only needed a yard, instead went backwards. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will bring the deficit back down to three. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat. But they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go! 
The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. You can't block me. You can't block me. Now Roethlisberger. He's got the tight end, Vanan. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. And the Steeler first down. Roethlisberger now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Here's Roethlisberger. Got an open man. It's Washington. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Bend to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football into double coverage. He was blanketed. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down. Take the completion, keep moving. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now it's Roethlisberger. He gets this one to Johnson. And down inside the 15 he goes. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 14. Fred Warner right there on the coverage. Give him credit for batting it away, but unable to come up with the interception. And sometimes that joke does come true. Guys are on defense for a reason. Maybe their hands aren't quite as skillful as the guys on offense, but a lot of credit on that play for just knocking it away. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. Here we go. 
So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Nick Bosa providing a little deja vu, back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. successful field goal try here's Boswell to send it away this will be taken in at the one and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line the 49ers offense now they get set to head back on the field and last time they got three points but it was a chip shot field goal and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal maybe the offense not too happy it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But I also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. There to make the tackle, Steven Nelson. Play action. Now Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 45-yard line. Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. It's caught by Sanders. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Garoppolo again. And that's off the mark, incomplete. And there was a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. 
Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. Here comes the 49ers punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Now oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Well, the Steelers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and six. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. down it's Samuels and an alley to run and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 that one good for 14 yards and a stealer first after he cleared the line of scrimmage nice little hole developed yeah yeah great blocking right there at the start but how about his vision finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run again with Samuels on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that doesn't say, I just want my guys to play fast. How about that one there? He almost ended up tackling the quarterback <laughs> as he's handing the ball off and knocking it free. That's what I was going to say. You blinked. You missed that one. On second and 11 now. Roethlisberger underneath pass here to Van Ed. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. The Steelers on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is th And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. D4 coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. Yeah. 
Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. So you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 18 yards, first down, Niners. a good start to the drive from the gun it's Garoppolo completes it to the tight end Kittle give him 30 yards there that could very well be a defining play in this game a touchdown that gives him the lead and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. I got you, Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. That we belong. One go. score down, like here we go. They're going to go defense. for it here on fourth down. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. And that is incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, Ball security. Don't turn it over. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On second down now, it's Connor. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. 
It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. Black 30. On third down, Roethlisberger. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. So a change of possession here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Now Garoppolo. This one complete to Coleman. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to lead to a third down. Here we go, here we and go. they're left three. looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Garoppolo now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. And the Steelers set to take the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. A run with counter on first down, going to get about five. Second and five coming up. The tackle there by Richard Sherman. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now Roethlisberger to throw, and he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. Seven yards there and a first down. A gain of seven, first down, Pittsburgh. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. 
So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game and trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Inside Niner territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They'll run with Samuels. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. Here's Samuels again. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. This is Johnson, he's got it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 21. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't dig long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so, and that way it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Set! Blue 30! Check, check, block 54, block 54. <laughs> Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Johnson's got it complete. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. First and goal, Pittsburgh. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now it's Roethlisberger. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground.
So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. To throw here, Roethlisberger. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. set they're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life and boswell's kick is good and that will make this a nine point lead well it's hard to put your finger on whether this is something to celebrate or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by but that's now six field goals he's made in this game alone the a's bailed him out quite a bit so far but it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down by nine. A minute 53 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. So first and ten now from the 30. Garoppolo to throw. Looking sideline incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. Let's see what you got. Now Garoppolo. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw, Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Looking to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth quarter, going for some big plays. Yeah, they certainly were. They just decided one shot, didn't they? Forget trying to move the ball downfield in small little increments. Let's go for the big one. But how about the defense playing situational football, looking at the scoreboard and realizing what could hurt us most? The deep shot. They played it well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Hayward and the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that one. <laughs> they're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On first and ten is counter. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. taken for the Steelers out of the victory formation. Roethlisberger dropping to a knee, and that ought to do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. And his kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.